Serious Nation, my Sergis. Welcome to your mid-month energy update. And it's a mini read. So it's going to be short, less than 10 minutes, okay? Ooh, what's happening? Third party situation. <laughs> Two threes. Third party situation. One is an empress, one is the one that you want. One might be a Taurus or an Aries. One might be a Taurus or a Libra. But there's definitely a third party here. And it might be a Virgo. But somebody is trying to manifest a connection. Somebody's trying to bring a solid offer to someone, but they're afraid of the conflict that that means. Um, entail and they're really losing sleep over it they might be quite depressed about this uh, we've got five of swords and we've got nine of swords this person wants to bring an offer to someone but they're anticipating conflict and because they're anticipating conflict it's keeping them up at night so Saji let's see what's happening the hell was that sorry I just feel it okay weird Feeling somebody tugging on my sleeve. Anyway, this is what I'm saying. This is the energy of this whole reading. This person is depressed. I mean, really depressed. Maybe they're doing a lot of purging, but they're really stressed out about um, this. This offer that they want to bring to you. They're really stressed out about it. Let's see what's happening. Oh, this could be you. Remember, the energy could be flipped, okay? So maybe when I lay out the cards, I'm asking about your person, hoping that your person's energy will come through, but it might be your energy, which is good for cross-watchers, but not so hot up for you. Okay? All right, this person, when they think about you, they think about this connection, how are they processing you mentally? Mentally, what's the, what's the logic? What's the logical thinking? All right, this person ain't talking to you right now. <laughs> Oh, you're not talking to this person. You're taking how you want to, re you want to resonate. Oh. There's been some kind of conflict between you guys in the past. And this person just wants to squash that. They want some kind of reconciliation happening here. That's what they want. They want some kind of reconciliation. Wow. And it's really stressing out this person. I'm um, just giving me one moment because I think this is going to be the title of the read. Yep. Sorry about that, guys. You see, like when I read, right? Like I forget, and I don't want to watch um watch the whole video all over again just to get a title. I know this is what the title needs to be. So this person wants reconciliation. Um, you could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You might be dealing with. Uh, although the signs really don't matter at the end of the day. Um, it's all about the energy that this person um is bringing in. But you know, sometimes signs have special significance. So you know what? I'm reading for everybody. And this person's hoping that the wheel of fortune will turn in their favor and they get this opportunity with you. They're hoping that their angels and their guides can pave a way um, to bring this connection back together. So you could be dealing with fixed signs. We have Scorpio there. That's Leo. That's Taurus, like me. Um, and uh, Aquarius. What else? Logically, when they think about you, when they think about their Saji, their hot Saji, you know, I love you guys. I mean, you guys do me dirty, <laughs> but the fire, the fire, I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh, they're seeing you as this nine of coins, this nine of pentacles. You're just happy, you're confident, um, you're independent, and they just love this about you. They love your energy, and that's why they're drawn towards you. 
and it also makes them feel like being single as well if they're in another relationship they also want to be single when they think about you they just want to be free enough um to have this um connection with you or to bring this connection into fruition so in their heart space when they think about you did something else ripple over well? i guess not in the heart space when they think about you um they they were in the hangman energy right they were trying to see this connection from a different perspective and trying to figure out what do i have to sacrifice to be with my saji what do i have to sacrifice you could have been dealing with the pisces because it's pisces energy what do i have to sacrifice to be with my saji and they recognized what they had to sacrifice was a toxic relationship or toxic habits or addictions they had to let go and release that devil energy in order to be with you that's what they recognize now this could be you too Sag you could have been thinking about your person what do I need to do to get with my baby yeah this card flew up because Saji they see you as this queen of coins might be a Capricorn. They see you as this queen of coins. You're just totally abundant. You're a queen and you deserve to be treated as such. So they recognize, hey, all that wishy-washy behavior, kind of like an idiot, not going to work with this person. I have to sacrifice this devil energy. I have to make that sacrifice. So earth signs here. So what's blocking this connection? What's blocking this connection? This person. What could be you? It's either you're just coming out of hermit mood or you you're refusing um to go within. I'm gonna see when I love the cards. You're refusing to go within. Yes, that's what's happening. You are this person. You're refusing to go within. You're refusing to fully acknowledge what's happening in this connection and your feelings with regard to this with this with regard to this connection. This person is running from their feelings. They're feeling all this energy. They're feeling this pull towards you. Um, they know that they have to get rid of this devil energy to come towards you. But they just ain't taking this leap of faith. They're refusing to see. Maybe they're not willing to make the sacrifice because they know they have to get rid of this devil energy in order to come towards you. So we have Sagittarius here. We have that hermit with the Virgo. The Virgo with the Hermit. And then we have this um, Aries energy here. So they're just not taking that leap of faith, even though they're being guided um, to do so. So what will be um, the actions towards you by the end of May? Is it going to change? They may still be defensive. So let me see what the other cards say, and I'll know what that Seven of Wands um, really means. So fire and fire signs there. So they may still be defensive or they might be fighting for this connection let me see the other cards and i'll know exactly what this is are they gonna fight for this connection because they recognize that you are the empress and the empress will not be denied now or or could be that they're in another connection and this person is pregnant so they can't walk away so they're being defensive there is that message here too for sure so i'm getting two messages here hold a second let me get um, another card so I can give you clarity as to what's happening. The star. Alrighty. Nah. Aquarius energy. Okay. 
so it's one message and they're gonna fight for this connection because there's hope in their heart they see when the star card came out the star card here it's not about somebody else let me pull a card of the empress they, they, they're hoping to manifest this connection with you they want to fight for this connection They're getting rid of a third party they no longer want to manifest a third party they want to come towards you and fight for this connection because there's a hope there's hope in their heart they're following their heart they're letting their heart guide them i'm hoping that you can see um the heart in this hand this person is following their heart there's an angel of love that's working with this person this person's following their heart. They're getting rid of um, the third party. This devil energy, they're getting rid of the third party. Okay? All right, so Saji. That was a reading. Hope that it helped you. And tuning for your June read pretty soon. Okay, bye. Remember, you were made to love, okay? Nothing else. <laughs>